If you see someone collapse and they're unresponsive and they're not breathing normally, they need CPR. But many people don't know how. They don't know how to get trained. It's too complicated, too complex. And quite frankly, sometimes they give up and don't even do it. We know that if you do nothing, the chances of survival are about 10%. If you do anything, the chances of survival are double, even triple. So that's why we need you, every person out there to learn how to do CPR, to save their friends, loved ones, strangers, and me. At UC Health, we've developed a program and promote a program that's called Take 10 Cincinnati. We provide free CPR training and education in just 10 minutes to show you how to do compression-only CPR and orient you to an AED. CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation, and it's basically a basic maneuver that applies external rhythmic compression to the chest to simulate a heartbeat to maintain some level of circulation while a, a person is suffering from a, a cardiac arrest. It's easy to learn, um, and it basically provides crucial blood flow to the organs when a person suffers a cardiac arrest until they either achieve return of spontaneous circulation, or what we call ROSC, or until emergency medical services arrive with more advanced capabilities. CPR is easy. Three simple steps. The first thing is to check on the person. Hey, hey, are you okay? And see if they're breathing normally. If they're not, you know they need help. So you're gonna pull out your phone, you're gonna dial 911, put it on speaker and put it beside you because the 911 operator will tell you exactly what to do and it's going to get professional help coming. But he can't wait for CPR, so we're gonna do it now. One hand in the center of the chest, one hand over it, lock your elbows and lock your wrist and uh, do compressions about 100 times a minute to staying alive or baby shark. An AED is an automated external defibrillator. You'll see these in airports, train stations, gyms, restaurants, and anywhere out in public. This is a device that if your heartbeat is in one of the funny cardiac rhythms during a cardiac arrest, this can literally shock the heart back into rhythm. What's important to remember though, is that everybody in cardiac arrest needs CPR, only some people in cardiac arrest need an AED. So it's important to do the compressions first and find this second. If you're able to find one, all you do is you pull it off the wall, you turn it on, and sometimes there's a button to turn it on. Sometimes all you do is open it and it will talk Care to you. You follow pad. the directions, you follow the pictures, and Care you can save a life. Anyone who's trained to do CPR, whether through a professional class like the American Heart Association or a simple class like Take 10 Cincinnati, can register through a free app that's called PulsePoint. PulsePoint is a citizen responder app where if someone collapses in cardiac arrest close to where you are, your phone will go off with a loud alarm like an Amber Alert. You look at it, you say, yes, I'll respond, and it will walk you to where it is and it will show you where the closest AED is.